This is a four hour shift. The lady was like, how is your butterfly so low? Everybody else's legs are like all the way it up. It really is. is. I'm not a professional at this. It's just free. So I do it. <laughs> hey y'all. Um, happy new year because it's going to be the new year whenever this comes out. But in today's video, I am about to do a maintenance vlog. Like I'm going to get cute for the new year. You know, I'm outside the wax center and I'm about to get my wax. And then I need to do my hair. I need to do my lashes. I'm getting my nails done on Monday and probably my toes done on Monday. And yeah, so I'm just going to turn from this to a baddie. I haven't been, well, I don't want to say that because I was cute with my braids. But the braids were, but the braids weren't me, you know, like I'm a wig gal. So we're going to get back to her, but it's 1028. My appointment is at 1030. So let's go ahead and get this. I haven't gotten it done since like november so i'm a little nervous and i'm trying european wax in it for the first time back home they don't have european wax and i don't think so i and they're a little bit more on the pricey side but this other place i went to when i went to it in november it was not pleasant it was not pleasant it was not friendly she didn't use no products minus the wax stuff and i was just like yeah no i'm good so if i gotta pay a little bit more for some quality then that's what i'm gonna do so i'm about to go in Asia, A-Y-S-A. Hey y'all, from the EWC. Yes. <laughs> Doing concert for Yes. <laughs> Look, well, thank you. <laughs> hey y'all, my name's Brandy, Glamorous Me Aesthetics. Come see me at the Glam Jungle, 109 Anderson Street. But facials! It's still the 22nd of January. You do facials? Yes, girl. I want to get them so bad. Yes, I'm going to give you my info. What made you want to get into content curating? Um, I'm actually like my business. I'm a stretch coach. What's that? So I go around stretching people. So, girl, yeah. I need that. <laughs> no, for so, real. So yeah, I um. That's a part of it, but this is more like personal, like day to day beauty Ooh. lifestyle type thing. I need to be stretched so bad. Yes, I am the girl for you. Oh, girl. I used to get waxes, and then the lady was like, how is your butterfly so low? Everybody else's legs are, like, all the way up. It really is. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was hesitant about the whole going to European, but they are so nice. They were really nice from the moment I went in there. And, yeah, so I got, I got some potential new clients, you know, a potential esthetician. Is that the word? I hope that's the word. <laughs> she said she does facials and stuff. So I went, okay, okay. I wanted to get one. Um, so that could be a part of my monthly maintenance thing. But that was a really, that was a really, really good experience. Like, I felt like I was with my friends in there. Uh, but okay, so I will see y'all whenever I am probably doing my hair or my lashes. me and it's almost been a week later um let me tell you what happened so so basically my nail appointment it was supposed to be on monday but then she said she was exposed to somebody with covid or something and she was sneezing so we got to push back to today so today is friday and i got my nails done they are short French tips. I am about to go and get my toes done just because I don't really have anything else to do today. So I was just like, I might as well get this knocked out because tomorrow I have to film stuff. But my hair, I did it in a video. I did it in the video earlier. I styled it and everything. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen because I was like real cute. I didn't install that really good, so I did it again like on Tuesday or whatever, and that's when I was like looking really cute. And then um yeah, I've been to the gym twice. I've been sweaty, so my wig is... Yeah, so I'm going to either reinstall this or I'm going to put the bob on. It depends on how I feel, but right now it's literally just down. It's looking a hot mess, and I just, I really don't care because it's freezing. 
I'm gonna go get my toes done and we'll worry about that later. <laughs> Some people that I've seen for a French tip or whatever, they would charge like $65 or something. I don't want to pay $65 for my toes. I don't get all acrylics. But then you go to the Chinese people and then you can pay $25, well, $30 for French. So I was like, mm, mm. but this time I got the acrylic big toe because the gel keeps breaking my toenails, guys. Like I can have it on for like, maybe three weeks and then my toenail breaks and then I'm just like, OMG. So in order to get the shape that I wanted, I had to get the acrylic toe because it, yeah, my toe, yeah. So the last few steps for my maintenance is to wax. So I'm gonna wax my armpits and my mustache and my chin hairs and then also redo my hair. Ooh, la, la, la. like start my hair so that I can do my lashes while my hair is like setting or melting but honestly I'm gonna put the flexi rods in tonight and we're just gonna see how it comes out in the morning no hair or very little hair so I mean uh, like I'm just gonna keep doing it you know I feel like my armpits have gotten lighter they're not fully there I don't really do anything but wax and put on deodorant you know so I don't know but like in the camera it doesn't look as dark Alright y'all, 
y'all so i am back you know i'm all clean i had blow dried the wig so that whenever i'm done i'm just gonna um oh what well i have what i blow dried the wig so that whenever i'm done with my lashes i could just go ahead and put the wig on i'm gonna do my lashes first because i'm filming for like tiktok and stuff and like People are more attracted to your videos whenever you're looking more presentable, unless you're funny. But I don't get on TikTok and stuff to be funny. So these are the lashes that I use. They are from Amazon. They are, I get them on sale. So they sometimes they be $9.99, sometimes they be $7.99. And I think the original price is more than that. But hey, and then I have the matching glue. It's a bond and seal type glue so the bond you put it on then you put the lashes on and then the seal you put it on after everything and it's like a pretty quick process depending on how you do it you know but sometimes it takes me a little bit longer but today i'm gonna try to get it done early like i did last time so we're gonna see i'm gonna let y'all just watch me because i'm not gonna be able to talk really until afterwards because i'm not trying to put my eye out so that I can put this ball cap on and we can get this ball rolling because I'm not gonna lie I'm ready to lay down well I'm ready to eat and then lay down so time is going by extremely fast like I wouldn't think that I'm moving this slow but apparently I am <laughs> apparently I am but like I'm not rushing for real like I don't have a reason to rush like I'm not going anywhere right now and it's supposed to rain tomorrow I should have got my eyebrows done when I was getting my toes done. But I really want to get my brows tinted, you know? I want to find somebody that can do tints. But okay, let me do this ball cap method. I'm going to do that off camera and then I'm going to come back when I'm installing the wig. So it is time for this wig to come on. I have to focus because it's always that one side that does not want to cooperate and it's usually this right side. So I need to try and make sure that I'm focusing and that everything goes good because I'm tired of spending money on a wig for it not to be sticking on one side, you know? Well, for it to be sticking on one side, like both sides should be sticking. Like I want to be able to have it all back and stuff and you don't see no ball cap. So I've been doing wigs for years and I still, I don't know. I don't know what it is about the right side that just does not like to cooperate. to try to get it flat because as you can see this part right here is not slaying down i don't know what it is about new wigs or specifically this wig because it happens a lot it's like either the track shows or something so i'm gonna just have to figure that out i'm gonna try to lay it as best as i can but i'm gonna let this band sit for like a long time so probably like over an hour and then i'll probably come back when i'm trying to put the flexi rods on because my hair isn't gonna be done until the morning because i'm gonna use flexi rods to curl it instead of sitting here trying to uh curl it with a curling iron 
So yeah, this is a four hour shift. Okay, this was actually more than a four hour shift. So, it's all a part of being a girl and I'm okay with that because tomorrow I'm gonna be a baddie even though it's gonna be raining and stuff. I did not ship those orders today. At this point, I'm ready to lay down, you know. But I'm gonna hurry up and I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna do it fully right now because I'm gonna go to sleep soon. So it's just like no point in trying to get it laid and slayed when it's been a, yep. I don't know where my other wax stick is, so I'm gonna try, try to use this. And what I'm gonna do is try to lay it flat. Like, I don't know if I told y'all, but I don't like plucking my wigs because I feel like they don't last as long. Well, I don't even know how to pluck for real, for real. But I feel like it makes it not last as long. So, um, yeah, I'm somebody that likes to rewear their wigs over and over and over and over and over again. So it's not just like a once in a lifetime thing. It's not gonna be like super duper duper late and slate. But give it like a few more weeks and it'll be super late to sleep. So I'm going to watch Martin while I'm doing that. And yeah, so just watch, you know. But I am done, you know. I don't know how these curls are gonna turn out because I I I feel like I was rolling them backwards because you know you're supposed to go away from your face, but then I feel like for some I didn't do that. So we'll see, and I just fix it with the curling iron tomorrow. I'm really I really just need to do like content and stuff, like finish this video and um what else? Probably stuff in my business, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm not too, too pressed, too pressed about it. But when I did have my middle part with my curls, I was feeling myself. So I'm kind of feeling myself right now. I look kind of cute with my little curlers. Hey guys, it is like two days later and I, I took my hair out on camera yesterday, but one of my eyes looked bigger than the other one and it probably does now. And I'm just like, what the heck? So We've been trying again, but at this point, if it don't turn out right, it's whatever. I'm not rushing to go nowhere, so we're going to try to get to see it. The curls ended up being really cute, but I went to the gym, so yeah, they didn't stay. So I just put the rollers back in, and we are about to do this. All right, y'all, so I am done getting ready. I am about to go hygiene and makeup shopping, so um, I didn't do my face because I might do it when I come back, but... Um, yeah, my hair is kind of falling, but it's, I don't know. I don't, like, I have this hairspray, but it didn't help the first time I curled it, so I was just like, I'm not gonna just keep using it if it feel if I feel like it makes my hair fall, you know? You can't really see the curls because I have them black, you know? I was gonna wear brown, but it just wasn't looking right, so, um, yeah. But I feel a little cute. I'm still a little aggravated, 
but I feel like shopping is going to help me, you know? So, um, I'll be doing a hygiene shopping video and all that stuff. So, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And remember that Jesus loves you and I love you too. And thanks for watching.